Welcome back, guys. Um, we had a very interesting game before the break. I hope uh, some people came in after that game, to be honest. But uh, we're about to jump into game number three here, Dark versus Fantasy. Things are getting all heated up here. It's 1-1. One, one. It is 1-1. One, one. Iron Fortress is the map. And let's do this, guys. SK Telecom T1 Dark, Bang Young Woo versus Dead Pixels Fantasy, Jung Myung Hoon. Up here in the top right, in the purple, our Zerg player. I think the Korean casters are still laughing about that last game. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag dream pool. Bottom left. <laughs> we have the Terran player abusing last map. Fantasy. Well, I, I want to say one thing. Thank you, Fantasy, so much for uh, highlighting that one feature, quote unquote, of the map. Showing exactly what's wrong with the map. Yeah. Very early on. Like, this is the first. Uh, this is the second game we've seen in uh, competitive Korean play. So, thanks, Fantasy. You're a good guy. Well, <laughs> <laughs> now we go back to the more normal kind of maps. Iron Fortress, less normal than a lot of the other maps we've we've been uh, rotating in recent times, especially in round three of Pro League. But not a bad map. It's just like a really spread out map. You know, the third base is very far away, which could really affect the Zerg in defending it. Fourth base also pretty far. But uh, mm. let's see how it plays out. I, I have a feeling that we'll see a very similar style from Doc on this map. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, just thinking about, you know, drop pressure on this map, I guess the one weak area would be that base that I, I guess would be Dark's fourth to the left. You definitely uh, drop behind those minerals and really wreak havoc. Yeah, you could probably see a tanker up there as well. Yeah. Well, you definitely could. <laughs> And after last game, I mean, who knows what Fantasy will do this time. Anything is possible, Valdez. Anything at all. But start things off, CC first. Yeah. For, for uh, Dark, just going to go hatch first, 16 pool, all the standard sort of good stuff. Going to be uh, when he gets that gas. Does he suspect a CC first, perhaps? Doesn't matter. Just going to go for standard gas timing as well. Mm. Yeah, you were talking about this before, how Dark does like to get that speed out pretty fast. Um, this map, the choke at the natural is not the uh, the smallest. I suppose Dark could go for some pressure, but they're at cross spawns. Mm. So I wouldn't like to really see it, but no, I, I on a different map. I think it's it's kind of these map this kind of map like we saw in game one. It's just like you can take four bases, just defend, make that composition, go into that late game. Probably will end up the same way. Coder is much smaller map, but it still ended up like that. I think in a bigger map, Doc's going to be even more comfortable doing the same kind of thing. Yeah. You might want to mix it up there. Yeah. It's, it's sometimes, you know, you get that surprise factor of, Oh, they're probably not going to go aggressive on this map. I can be really greedy, and then they get caught out. You know, maybe Fantasy goes for a very early third CC and doesn't have the necessary defense. And even though it's very far away, somehow Dark gets something done. But it doesn't really strike me as Dark style, as we were talking about before. Yeah. Going to send out the uh, first scout of the game outside of that Overlord. It's going to be the Zergling. Just wants to identify exactly where Fantasy is on the map. Just getting out Queens, setting up his mid game. Do you see factory on the way? Let's see how many Hellions we're going to see Fantasy invest into this time around. Will it just be two or? Could be. Um, you might want to invest a little bit more on this kind of map. It is a much more open map. You can harass it a lot more before that third base even thinks about going down. Like deny the creep a lot easier. You know, I'm seeing a quick star port as well. I think we could see a lot of uh, actually Hellion Banshee on this map. I think that's a strong choice. Yeah. I'm feeling it too, Moonblade. I'm liking what you're saying. Thank you, Valdez. <laughs> I always appreciate it when you agree with me. Yeah. 
you're a good, you're a good Dong Sang. <laughs> good Dong Sang. Good Dong Sang. Dong Sang in the Korean culture, I guess I'm just supposed to always agree with you no matter what you say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're doing what is right. Mm. And look at that. Two more Hellions on the way and a Medivac. Mm. Mm. Now, do you think we're going to see an Armory go down? Yes. Mm. Yes, we are, Valos. Okay. Well, we do have a very early Baneling Nest. That's one good thing we see out of Dark. Yeah, very important. He's going to have that in time here to defend. And he's just doing this with no real knowledge of what Fantasy is going for. I don't even think he's out of the front. Or maybe he did. Yeah, I think I remember one Zergling going in there. There's also a, a long day. an Overlord kind of sitting just above it. But uh, it's going to be hard to kind of tell this is coming. He's going to have to have units out just in case. Baneling Nest finishes up. Making some extra queens. Will he make some safety banes? Yeah, safety banes would be the choice here. But I'm just not sure. Mm, not yet. Not Goes yet. for Lair. Currently sitting at about 12 links. He can make some safety banes if he desires to. I don't think he's like he wants to. Know, he's not feeling it right now. He hasn't seen it coming at all. He does have a decent number of queens, but they are not in a position to deal with the Hellbat drop into the main. He's making two Evo chambers, and it's not even for a wall. Oh. Link, see it? Oh, oh, look at that positioning, man. getting in between the minerals. It's going to force a big pull here. Yeah, that's not good. Not good at all. Queen actually is doing a lot of work on that medivac already. It's but always good to focus that down. He's going to go in for another pass. Fantasy looking elsewhere. One more hit. Goes down. Gets it down, but still some pretty healthy uh, Hellbats. One can go down, but the other one got a few shots left. The biggest damage there was the tank. Gigantic pull yeah. on all of those drones. Oh, yeah, a lot of mining time missed out, but he remains strong. Throwing down a spore as well, he gets an idea of the follow up. I think he should probably make some safety banes at this point, though. That is a lot of Hellions that are going to be turning into Hellbats. He doesn't scout it just yet. Now, this is a mistake. He needs to make them now if he has any chance of defending this third base. Well. They are on the production tab, but this is a bit too late, I would say. Cloak finished up now as well. Things just got even uglier. Oh, where's the Overseer? It's morphing right now. Oh, man. Bailing still on the way. They finished up. And there's that Overseer. Just like, in time. Just in time. Here come the Banes. A really, really nice flip from Fantasy, in fact. Oh, man, that is ruthless. Maybe coming back for another pass. He gets three of these Hellbats down at least and does kill one of the Banshees. At the same time, it's just too much damage. It's hitting a lot of damage. It's really putting him far behind. No easy cleanup here. Delayed again and again and again. Oh, Transfuse is available. There we go. It's going to be pretty big. Keeping that clean alive. He needs them for all these Hellbats. There's six of them. Getting to work, he can't mine from that third base. More banelings are coming through. Looking for the hit to that perfect split. Fantasy has been on point here with the splits. Making uh, this so hard. There we go. Still not too far behind in supply, but it really slowed down everything. His tech especially. I believe he does have a lair at this point. But um, even that, like, he's... Not on the gases he wants to be on. Only on three gases out of six. He's fully saturated the minerals in his third base now, finally, but he's still making catch up. Yeah. The one thing is with that build, Fantasy did get a you know a bit of a later third base. It's not too late. I mean, it's done here. It's already floating over, but uh, it wasn't the fastest it could have been, of course, to put on that pressure. We're going to see Baneling's speed coming out here. Did we have the upgrades finish up for Dark? I think he had plus one attack on the way. Yeah, he's got 1-1 one, one now. He's got 1-1. One, one. So he's looking for 2-2 two, two soon. He can't afford it right now, but not investing into it just yet. That's the other thing that Fantasy kind of, you know, a bit behind on, mm -hmm. at least. Looks like it's not the first priority for Dark at this point, though. He is going into Mutas behind this. No Roaches this time around. And I'm sure he's kicking himself with that decision because that would have been the perfect idea, <laughs> the perfect uh, choice to deal with that army and that aggression. For sure. A lot of buy moving across the map now. I do see a couple of banes being made. Currently sitting at around seven banes. He should be able to deal with this pretty easily, but I'm sure it's going to be designed to deal with the creep as well. Looking for that cancel. Oh, Queen's got to be careful here. 
big pickup there. He was so close to losing a lot of those Marines to save a bunch just before the Banelings make contact. Lining up to make seven mutas. The moment that Spire pops. And he did manage to keep most of his creep alive as well. So it hasn't taken too much of a blow, but the rest of the is coming across the map now. Seven Hellbats, a bunch more bio, and about four Widow Mines headed towards that third base. We do already see a Thor on the way for Fantasy. Wonder if he's got a good idea that uh, Dark's gonna make this transition into mutas at least in this game. Yeah, I think he, he must because there's just no roaches on the map. It's like, well, your gas has to be going somewhere. And the only other choice really is going to be Mutas. Unless we see that age old style of like Ling Bane into Ultra or something. Or Infester. Infester. Yeah. They're just not as efficient these days. They're never yeah. against Widow Mines. Don't do it. Never do it. Mutas now out on the map. Got about seven or eight of them. Ooh, some of these queens are going to be picked off. Really? Really? As a shot, it's doing a decent hit there. Not getting it. Yeah. Old Look. Banshee coming in here, and there's no spore. Look at the supply difference at this point again, Valdez. 50 supply lead for Fantasy right now. Doc is just making catch up. Yeah, he really is. Fantasy's still getting damage done. Dark focusing elsewhere on the map. Finally coming over here with that Overseer and the Mutas. Gonna clean up that, but he's gonna put his Mutas really out of position, and we might see a press. Fantasy does exactly that. He's setting up position. Oh, Widow Mines, no drilling falls just yet. A wow. lot of Banes go down for very few units. Yep. And Dark, even at this moment, supply blocks. Taking four Overseers. Now moving forward a bunch of these Lings and Banes to try to set off some Widow Mines. Trying to get position up here on the ramp. He is so good at just triggering these Mines without too many losses. Again and again, he's wiped out all the Widow Mines on the ramp as well. Wow. Still has a lot of Banes and Lings left over, but the fire is getting closer to the drone line. Very true. We're getting caught here behind that. Gas is actually going to be not so bad for the Fantasy. Marauders at the front as well. It's such a hard army to engage in, see. And Banes get in and clean up everything there. Still a lot of Banes going down for that. And some getting taken out there before they get more. Yeah, the third base is actually getting pretty low as well. Trying to push in here now. The Mutas trying to focus down those Metavacs as best as they can, but a little bit more fragile than those Corruptors. Only getting smaller and smaller here. For Doc, he might have ran out of steam at this point. Yeah, I think that's the moment. GG, you see the head shake there from Dark and Fantasy. After that crazy win on that crazy map, is able to follow it up with just a straight up good play. Building some serious momentum now. That was a good map for him to push on to. Just get that done. Really caught out Doc with that Hellbat timing, which really put him so far ahead. Wow. You were talking about how that third base is pretty far away for the Zerg. Bit hard there for Dark to defend. It didn't look like he was 100% sure that, that was coming. Would have liked to see the roaches, but not quite the choice there for Dark. We're going to be going on to the next map, Moonlight Madness.